Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. Quick one on the Velocity 1 flight stick. As you know by default the H2 will move your views around and that's all fine. You click the H2 button in to reset your cockpit view. If you come down to your mouse and you want to use your mouse with your right mouse button pressed down you want to use that to look around. Look I'm moving the mouse and nothing's happening. Well, there is a simple solution for this. With a few simple settings in the sim, I could still use my H2 to look around, press the button to center it, come down to my mouse, hold my right, right mouse button down and move my mouse. I can also use my mouse to look around too. Few simple settings to set up in a sim, so in this video I'm going to show you how. Okay, let's not dilly-dally, let's get on with this video. And okay then, full screen mode in the sim, we'll go to options. And control options. I've got the default profile loaded for the Velocity 1 flight stick. This will do. As soon as I start messing around with settings, it will ask me to save to another profile. If you have a profile you like, uh, well, you can save it on the same profile. It's fine. As this is default, I'll have to make a new profile, but it will prompt me. I'm just going to go into camera. Camera menu. On your assigned. And cockpit camera. Move your height. H2 around, hat 2 around. You'll see these two here pertain to that H2. So I'm going to click on one of them into the box here and clear current inputs, validate. And there you go, it tells it because it because I'm messing around with the default profile, it's going to prompt me to make a new profile. I'll just call this Alt Alternative Views. That'll do for a new profile. And I'll just move that H2 up and down. You can see it pertains to this one here. So click in that box. Clear current input. And validate. And apply and save. So basically you're clearing the two inputs that oops, uh, H2 pertains to. If I go back now to my camera. Should be in my new profile. My camera, cockpit camera. Move my H2 around. Nothing's flashing. I've cleared those two inputs that pertain to it. Now that's cleared, if I go back to the sim and just move my H2 around, nothing's going to happen. Move, hold my right mouse button down, move that around, that works fine. Clicking H2 in still resets the cockpit view. If that's all you want, then that's all you need to do. But you could still have views set up with that H2 and that's pretty simple. What we'll do, go back into options, control options. Go into, uh, wait for it to load up. Go filter to all, which shows all the possible combinations of controls that we can set up. Go into camera, cockpit camera again. And this time it just, it's just got a lot of blank because we've not set a lot of these up. I'm just going to scroll down. So in camera, cockpit camera, scroll down until we see cockpit look left, cockpit. So... Just below cockpit quick view, you've got cockpit look left, up, right, left, and down just below it. So I'm going to set the corresponding positions of the H2. We'll do cockpit look up first. Click into that box. Start scanning. I'm just going to move my H2 up. And it say it's already bound to external view. Don't worry if you're in cockpit mode, this won't trigger. Validate. Scroll down again now, so I've got cockpit, uh, cockpit up. Oh, cockpit quick view, there you go. Cockpit look up, cockpit look right, same thing, click in the box. Click and start scanning, move my H2 right. And don't worry about the external view, validate. We'll apply and save that. Scroll down again so we get to cockpit quick views when you see them, it's just below them. There we go. Cockpit look left, click in that. 
Start scanning, move my H to left. Validate. And we will want cockpit look down next. So find those ones we just set up. They're here. And cockpit look down is there. Start scanning. Move my H2 down. Validate and apply and save. Now, you can set cockpit... Oh, let's just say... Oh, let's go back up there. Cockpit look down right. Cockpit look down left. I've got cockpit look down, cockpit look up right, etc. Look up left, look up right. You can set them. I found you don't need to. And I'll show you that. I'll go to resume. Move my H2 now. As I move it around, it's looking in the diagonals. If I move it diag diagonally, it's kind of doing it anyway. So I can move around, look around my cockpit smoothly using my H2. And because I've set it up differently, I can also use my right mouse button and my mouse. I'm using my mouse now to look around. So there you go. This should work on both PC and Xbox. Okay, let's go to the conclusion. So there you go. Using my H2 and right mouse button as well. All works fine. If you don't want your views on this button, I'm going to link a video down below. You can put your heading bug on this H2. Uh, I've got it on H1. I'll just zoom in on that screen for you. You can see that blue heading bug moving around on the left G1000. So if you've got it on heading mode, go and watch the video that I've linked down in the description. You can always put that on H2 if you don't want the views on there. But listen, do let me know your thoughts on this. I hope it helps quite a few people. It's a question I often get asked. Let me know your thoughts. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you soon.